Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the Panto House with me, your host, uh, Khadija. I want to clarify something that uh, this comment that was made about a, a, a video I put out regarding uh, the brothers with the guns up in uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Or in the outside of Atlanta, going to Stone Mountain, uh, Mountain Park. Anyway, the the militia, the, the not fucking around militia, <laughs> who I have uh, nothing but respect for. I I like the precision. I like the military um, uh, preciseness. I like the um, organization of it. And so you don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with uh, that type of show of, you know, responsibility or let you know, hey, this is where the buck stop and I can do it too. Perfect example of, if you look at some of my earlier videos, I talked about the deacons for defense all the time. So I'm not, you know, such a person that are approved that I don't think that, um, you know, we should not bear arms. It's our constitutional right. So that's not what the gist of our conversation was about. It's a difference between showing up and walking with your guns and, and or uh, as opposed to walking with your gun through the neighborhood and talking about here I am, come out, here I am, we here because now you're asking for the confrontation. And what I'm trying to say is, it, I saw in one particular clip that was a stroller out there with a kid in it, and there was somebody pushing it. Because I'm sure as this um, uh, organization picked up more and more momentum, maybe there were some people that joined it that wasn't part of it. However, I know I saw a stroller. And so what I'm saying, in my opinion, not that I had problem with black men arming themselves, because you better arm yourself, given the situation of what's going on here in America. I don't have a problem with that. Protect yourself uh, uh, by any means necessary. First law of nature is self-preservation. So that's not the issue here. I was only speaking to that small little window that I said, and I asked y'all's opinion about that. What do you think about walking through somebody's neighborhood and calling them out as opposed to just walking through their neighborhood? That should have been the question because that's really what it was. Okay, so maybe I didn't explain myself clearly and let me do so now. Or do y'all think it's cool to walk through their neighborhood and call, call them out? I, 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 was, I told you my opinion, but that does not um, say you got to share the same opinion as me. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not that um crazy. So let me have it. But that's what the situation and the question was. Don't go all around the block and down the bush and say I said some shit I didn't even say. Okay. So with that being said, let me know if you agree or you disagree that the people should go through the neighborhood armed, strapped, and saying, "Come on out, we here." with children and everything else in the march uh, to be ready to defend themselves uh, with their guns. Because, you know, there's a math and a science that they said that they had and that one black person can do away with nine. Okay, that may be so. But I might not want my grandbaby in that march. I might not want my grandbaby in that march. I might want her parents to do that. But I, I, I think I'll keep the grandbaby here with me so she can live to tell it. All right? That's how history works. Okay. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.